Here's the finished piece, titled Soulful Sax Man. It weighs about eh, about five pounds, something something in that vicinity. Uh, it's basically steel with brass overlay. To make the saxophone, I start out with a little tool like this. Um, actually, I made this to create the body of a of a butterfly. And I thought, well, I'll just use this to make a saxophone. So what you do is you just clamp a uh, washer and a vise, put this in. There's a little hole here for a piece of wire, and you run up a piece of wire up to about maybe this point. And then I had a piece of flared copper that I worked right into that, and then flared it out to create the horn part of the saxophone. So this was just a wrap of wire. Then I slipped it off. And then you can bend it to form the shape of this. And then just added all the other doodads, the uh, little buttons and stuff to look like pipes and levers and stuff like that were all added later. See, I pre-drilled all those holes for where those are all going to go. And then this here was just actually a piece of copper tubing and I flared out. And to make the shape here, we just had uh, a single rod in the, down the center of this, which you can see sticking out this end here, and that's where his lips are going to go, and I just easily weld that to his lips. And then, uh, um, these are just spiral wraps in a tapered shape, and, and you just wrap those spiral wire, it's a rebar tie wire, and then it's all cleaned up and everything, so it'll accept the brass coating really well. And then you can bend that in any shape you want, and it's kind of cool how that works. Uh, not hard to do. Uh, basically what I've done, I've just used some uh, uh, brass rod, 16th inch brass rod, and then drilled some holes in various places I could put in these. These are, are actually uh, carpet tacks or upholstery tacks that I just buffed up on the grinder. And these are just little, uh, well, these kind of nails here, and that's going to simulate the f where the valves are that you push down with your fingers, so up here too. I only did three because I'm only going to have three fingers resting on it, and the rest would be concealed anyway, so there's no need to go to all that work. Uh, to make the base now, I had to take a six-inch sheet of steel here, another corresponding six-inch sheet of steel, and here, let me give you a close-up on the inside here. You see that brace right there is just another strip of this cut off. That what that does, and this, and this, and this, is it pre-spaces this distance between this plate and this plate. So, uh, like I said, it weighs five pounds. Oh, you got to put the felt on the bottom. What that does, is obviously, it protects the uh, countertops and stuff like that. So here, I'll just give you... Um, some kind of close-ups here. You can see where I strived to meet, make the fingers meet here. So it's actually, that's kind of the toughest part, is getting the, hand, the angle of the hands proper. And then, of course, the stance has to be proper, so it looks like he's kind of getting into it. And, and these fingers, of course, there's three more buttons. There's actually like about five buttons down in here and pretty much up here too but I only use three because it's all I needed just to give me the expression so the hands you saw were made out of steel this is all done out of wrapped coiled wire and then just covered in brass and then this part to make the shirt I, uh, I just took sheet steel and worked it around into a fashion to make it look like a shirt so by doing the brass arms first with the molten brass to create some semblance of muscularity then put the shirt over the top like this then I could create a collar that looks like a shirt and then there's a separation underneath that 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 um, where it shows it's got a short sleeve shirt on here so there's a space under there so it looks a little more realistic and then of course this part here I had the sheet laying down here tack welded it all the way around then heat the sheet up real red hot and then pulled it up um, over the top here to create this kind of an effect here like a folded up shirt that's partially tucked in so anyway that's soulful sax man